welcome back to the channel everybody this video I am going to describe how you get uh, the files from the game so if I pull up the game let's take a look at a file let's see we're gonna we're gonna just go and grab let's go to the roster let's see so what I'm gonna do is I guess I'll get Joel Embiid's cyber face so first and foremost I need to I need a way to figure out what his cyber face ID is now you can go about this multiple ways and I'm going to show you in just a second how I'm going to do it how I'm going to figure out what his face is all right all right so first to get files from the game uh, you need Google you need to search for you can search any web search browser NBA 2k 17 Explorer it's already in my search history all right NBA 2k 17 Explorer and if you look you will see the results are gonna come up with videos for me already <laughs> that's crazy yeah just about every video is going to be from me what well, all the top videos that actually pertain to it are from me you might let's see all right so i think this one that says how to view a list of all nba 2k18 files will actually help most of you do what you want to do what i'm going to do in this video but if you don't want to look through that stuff stick with me on this video what you do is it should be this link here that says uh nlsc it's if i click it it'll, it's going to take me to a page where i can download the game <clears throat> sorry if my voice is cracking stick with me here i'll make this quick you can click download and your download will begin I already have the program so i don't need to install it all right so once it's downloaded let's go to my desktop here it is here i'm going to double click it oh. when i double click it this box comes up and then another box comes up okay so we've got these two boxes now this box here you don't need to do anything with let me turn off my background icons really quickly. All right, so this box here, you don't need to do anything with. It'll just give you information. Now, the very first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to go to preferences. You'll need, you'll need to select, it says select NBA 2K17 directory, but just select what the directory of whatever game you're playing. If you're playing 2K17, then find where that folder is. If you're playing 2K20, then put the location of that folder, okay? So as you can see, my drive is selected, Steam, Steam apps, common NBA 2K20, because that's where my NBA 2K20.exe file is. Okay, so it'll be different for you. It might be the C drive, could be the D drive, E drive. I don't know where your game is. That's something you have to figure out. But you put the directory here, okay? If you need to zoom in, make the video big, take a look at where mine is, and then try to figure out where yours is, okay? All right, the next step is you have all of these archives here all of these archives which i'll go into the 2k20 folder and show you so basically these archives are all of these here so you see 0a here and 0a here then you got um as you go over 0b you got 0b so inside of each of these archives are all the files of the game all right, so 2K20 actually goes all the way to Archive 3J. And this tool does not allow you to open 3J because 2K7, this was made for 2K17. And 
it didn't go to archive 3j in 2k17 the good news is you won't actually ever have to go that far because most of, i think most of the stuff in 3j is just like uh, audio or stuff for my career audio i believe um anyway all right so now that you've got the tool installed and once you set this at the top you want to click save settings okay you won't have any of these any of these archives selected now the archive names it'll say like o, um, os 0s says cavaliers that's only for 2k17 the names only apply for 2k17 so like this says heat celtics hornets that stuff only applies to 2k17 it'll be different for 2k20 all right but anyway press save settings once you save your settings then you can close that but nothing will happen so what you need to do is figure out what file you want to find and i'm gonna go back in game so i want to find the cyber phase so i have a tool called limnono trainer that i'm going to use right now to figure out what cyber phase Joel and Bede is and I'm not going to go over what I'm doing right now because um, I've already made videos for Limnono Trainer okay so he's 4090 his cyber face ID is 4090 all right can minimize the game I actually don't even need the game anymore all right, so what I do is, in NBA 2K20, there's a file called Manifest. This Manifest file, I'm going to open up in a program called Notepad++. So stick with me here, listen. I won't be able to answer any questions that don't pertain to this video. I need to make that clear now. Um, if you write in the comment section about something that doesn't pertain to the video, I'm not gonna answer it, all right? So pay attention to this portion. The manifest will tell you where all the files are. So, again, let's go back in the game. I need to find 4090, the player, the face for 4090, okay? So, 4090, the, um, the face files, the t facial texture, it's called face and then the numbers. So face 4090 dot if is what I need to find within the manifest. So if I open up Notepad++, plus plus, I actually already have the, note, the manifest open. Let me get rid of something. Here it is. Here's the manifest file. I already have it open because I, all, I always search for stuff. So this is what it'll look like. See, it has a, uh, the name of every file. And all the way to the left, it'll tell you what archive everything is in. So I'm going to press Control F for find. I'm going to type face. Oops. Face 4090. Then I'm going to search. And there it is. Face 4090 is in archive OI zero i all right there's another file called png which i think means player in game but anyway png 4090 dot if uh there it is png it is also in zero i all right so now i know where it is don't need this anymore again this program that I'm using is notepad plus plus don't need it I'll close it up so both of the files are in zero I right there so what you do is you go back to options go to preferences and select zero I it says shoes but that's not what's in it for 2k20 zero I I click there then I click X, I go to file, load archives, and it'll take just, it'll take a few seconds to load everything up. As you can see, this one is doing work in the background. 
again, I want to give a thanks to the creator of this tool, Greg K. Waste. We've been using this tool now for uh, four years, and it continues to work for us. All right, guys, you can speed this video up. You can skip past this part if you want. But once it comes up, once everything comes up, or once the archive is open within this tool, then we'll be able to find what we need. Okay, so now it's pulled a list of all the sub files in this archive. So now I can just search for those that face 4090. I type it in in the search bar and press enter. And there it is, it's highlighted for me. So all I have to do now is I can right click, export to archive, which is just going to let me choose what folder I want to save the file to. And I can save it to my desktop if I want, um, which I'm not actually going to save anything, but that's what you would do. You click desktop and then save, and it will save it to your desktop. Then you can see above the face 4090, you'll see a bunch of stuff that says 4090. So everything here is related to Joel Embiid. So this don't don't left click on these or if you do left click on it, I mean, it's not an issue. If you left click on it, what it will do is it will it will take that file and it will parse that file and then you'll get what's actually inside of this small file down here but you don't need that stuff for the most part because you can do that once you export it to your desktop all right so what you want to do now that you have the face you right click on png png 4090.if which again i think it means player in game um go to export archive again and this is the all right here's the issue huh the sun is awake 6 30 in the morning sun is awake crying that's why it's so hard for me to do videos anyway uh his mom will handle that all right so desktop you can save it to the desktop if you want his hair his facial hair you'll need to save that file the tangent space file, I don't think you can actually manipulate. But here are the other files. You've got facial hair, hair one, headband. He's got headband tie file. So you can save all of these files to your desktop if you want. And then um, that's how you would extract the files. Now, if you wanted something else like a ball, or something else like that you would need to <clears throat> go back to notepad plus plus and search for the name of the file that you want like let me search for ball there's a lot of ball balls in this game so you just have to know which ball you want hmm so there's a lot of stuff in this game. Yeah, it's not just going to be as easy as searching for the word ball. As you can see, I'm coming up with a lot of references for ball. Okay, so you have to know what you're searching for, for one. And then you can go from there. But that is how you extract files from the game. And that will allow you to then do further uh, manipulation of those files all right that's all I have for you guys with this video I just wanted to do an updated video of how to extract the files from the game I hope that wasn't too long and I hope it was clear all right guys till next time I'm gone